All right, so big news, okay? Uh, number one, if you haven't heard, um, the Yankees have made an official offer to Garrett Cole. It is now public, seven years, $245 million, which is an all-time record. It's $35 million per year on average. It surpasses um, Zach, Zach Renke's $34.4 million for six years, and it surpasses Dave, uh, David Price's, uh, I think it's $210 or $218 million total value. So... A, pr a big whopper, and that's just the initial offer. I have a feeling it's going to go up. It's probably going to cost between 260 and 280 to, to get him. Um, you may even have to add an eighth here, and there's actually talk about them going nine or ten years, which is insane, but um, he is the greatest free agent pitcher um, coming off of a <clears throat> career year in Major League Baseball history. There's been some other ones, Greg Maddox and a couple other players, Max Scherzer, but no free agent pitcher has ever had a year like he just had. Um, and, and gone right into straight free agency. So it's going to be pretty epic. Um, <clears throat> with the winter meeting starting tomorrow, keep an eye on activity. I have a feeling he might actually sign with the team this week. But we'll see. Also, if you're new to this channel, okay, click that subscribe button. okay, And then click the bell next to it so that you don't miss out on any good videos. I put new videos out every other day. Um, if you have a channel of your own, um, make sure you put in the comments that you subscribe after you subscribe. And I'll definitely make a point to make a shout out or to make a shout out to your channel and make sure that everybody knows about you and your channel as well. So, um, as, a, as a way of saying thank you for subscribing to mine, I want to make sure people know about yours. So, um, so uh, if you if you're new or if you have your own channel and you subscribe, make sure you let me know in the comments, and I'll definitely make it a point to point out your channel as well. So, and for my current subscribers, thank you guys so much. Love you guys. You guys are the best. Today, I want to talk about something a little different. I want to do a little something fun. For the winter meetings start, there's not really nothing really big happening today, um, but we are ready to rock and roll for the winter meetings. I'll do videos all through this week about the winter meetings, but today I want to talk about the seven greatest baseball movies ever. Okay, um, there are some really good baseball movies. There's a lot of them, but I, I narrowed it down to seven for my favorite choices, um, and I want to share them with you guys. So, um, without further ado, let's get to it. All right, number one, Field of Dreams. Okay, so it's 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 about a basically about a Midwest farmer who builds a baseball diamond after essentially hearing voices talking to him, asking him to telling him to build the diamond. Um, and what exam what happens? The nineteen nineteen Chicago White Sox actually come out and start playing on it. It's pretty cool. And uh, with Kevin Costner and a bunch of other folks, uh, this is a perfect movie for you know um, a dad and his kids to watch or mom and dad and their kids to watch um, it's a great movie especially if you know son and dad or daughter and dad are baseball fans it's a great movie to watch together with your friends with your family All right number two Bull Durham <laughs> this movie is great because it's basically about you know baseball just hardcore baseball players who are you know it gives you the other side of baseball not only the pretty the f finesse side but it talks about you know you, you anything from romance relationships with baseball players and you know um, interesting woman, I'll say. Um, brawls, slumps, secret tips, and so on and so forth. Uh, another Kevin Costner movie. And um, <laughs> a great movie. He pairs up with the... Uh, oh, God, I forgot his name. Um, oh, it'll come to me. But anyway, you got to see that movie. Um, it's, it's, it's one of those must sees That's a movie you see with your boys. You see with your buddies. All right. Number three, The Natural. I mean, this one, if you haven't seen The Natural, you got to see it. Uh, it's by Roy Hobbs, you know, a talented player. Um, he had a gift. He's one of the one of those special Babe Ruth type players, um, and uh, yeah, a special gift. And then unfortunately, he suffered a little bit of a detour and uh, suffered a tragic uh, injury, I'll, I'll say. Um, but then he returns a bunch of years later to fight his way back into the major leagues and uh, does some special things. But if you want to see the most epic um, home runs in baseball, watch this movie. You ever want to see somebody tear a cover off a ball? Watch that movie. And the music that goes along with his epic home runs is just incredible. Now, if you want a feel-good movie, that's a feel-good movie, especially the last home run of the, of the movie. It is the most epic home run in movie baseball history, period. Okay, so you got to see it. Number four, A League of Their Own. This one's really cool, too. Uh, it's about women's baseball, which is pretty awesome. So if, if, if I, anybody should see this movie, I think it's a great movie. To Tom Hanks, then he plays like the grump, grumpy old coach, and you got... Gina Davis, Madonna, and a bunch of other folks in it. Um, 
Uh, and it's basically, I mean, it educates us on women's baseball. It's, it's a sport that not many people know about or nobody really talks about. So um, it's a really, really, really well done movie. And it's got a terrific cast, like I said. And, you know, and it proves, as, you know, some of us already know, that women can play baseball. They're good. Um, you know, and they don't get enough credit for it. Well, this this movie is really gives them uh, really gives them their due. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. Um, you know, again, this is a great movie to watch for family and friends as well. Um, I highly encourage you to watch it if you haven't seen it. Number four, number five, Eight Men Out. If you know about the uh, the Chicago Black Sox or the Black Sox, a 1919 Black Sox scandal. Um, if you don't know about it, read up on it and then see this movie because it's exactly about that. Um, it's the biggest scandal in baseball history, and um, you know, and if, again, if you're a history buff or you know, just a, a diehard baseball fan, you got to see this movie. Um, essentially, it's about gambling and all the things that go along with it. Um, Pete Rose times 100, okay? Talk about courts and indictments. It's just crazy. It changed baseball forever. Um, I actually think Ray Liotta's and a bunch of other folks, but um, another well-done movie. And again, I highly encourage you to watch it. Number six, my all-time favorite. Major League. This reminds me, if you haven't seen The Replacements with Keanu Reeves about football, this is essentially The Replacements version uh, of baseball for me. Because you have a bunch of guys just coming from lower, Lou, you know, Lou Brown, the manager, who's working at Tire World, and then Charlie Sheen coming from jail. Um, and then you got Serrano, who's a big voodoo guy, and you got Tom Berenger playing the catcher, Jake, um, and all these other guys, Carmen Burnson playing the pretty boy third base diva. Um, and just a collection of funky personalities who, who, who play for the Cleveland Indians who nobody thought existed anymore. And you wind up falling in love with them and they become a perennial playoff team. And there's been some sequels made. None of the sequels are as good as this one. This one is by far the best. If you haven't seen it, watch it. If you want, you want to laugh and you want to just fall in love with a baseball team, that movie is for you. Okay. And number seven, I, th I think it's great to have a kid's movie on here, The Sandlot. Uh, it's a great movie for kids and adults. If even if adults want to make it feel like a kid again, Sandlot. Got a bunch of kids just playing in a lot and uh, want to play baseball, and it just shows the progression of the kids. And there's a couple of funny scenes. You know, they lose the ball, and then James Earl Jones is in his place, an all time baseball legend, and those Babe Ruth. And then, you know, they hit the ball into his yard, and he's got this giant dog who starts going after them. And then there's a scene there, and it's probably the most comical epic kiss uh, from this little. <laughs> little knucklehead, one of the kids, and uh, kisses one of the pretty lifeguards, an older lifeguard, and then it's it's a pretty cool scene. And also, one of the most epic movie quotes of all time is in this movie. There's even shirts made. I'm not going to tell you because I want you to see the movie, um, but uh, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about as soon as you see this movie. Okay. Um, so anyway, this is my list. This is my top seven. Hope you enjoyed this. Um, let me know what you think. If you have some other recommendations, put them on. There is some other great baseball movies, too, that I just haven't pointed out. You know, like For the Love of the Game with Kevin Costner. He seems to play baseball movies on a regular basis. Every 10 years, he puts out a new baseball movie. Um, so I think he might like baseball. <laughs> and, uh, but anyway, here's my list. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please click the like button. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so and click the bell next to it um, so that you, you can not only have access to three dozen videos that I've already put out, um, and if you happen to be a fan of a specific team, by the way, I've done team-by-team -team breakdowns in the offseason of what they should do this offseason versus what I think they'll likely do. I've got MLB free agent predictions. I've got one that I did about five weeks ago and then new, another one that I just put out two days ago after some of the moves have been made. Um, I've got Astros cheating scandal videos. I've got um, contract predictions. I've got all different kinds of videos that I think you'll really enjoy. And uh, so I hope that you'll take a look at them. So, uh, and again... Hope you enjoy this. Please click the like and subscribe. Happy holidays. Talk to you next time.